everyone, Tom here, Battle Rap Resume, here with yet another episode with yet another awesome guest. Just before we get to Sayo, please follow the show at Battle Rap Resume. Uh, get in touch with me via email as well if you want to come on the show, you want to, you know, correspond in any way. Battle Rap Resume at gmail.com. There's the Patreon there iTunes, you know, the stuff I always say, of course. Today, I welcome uh, an Irish legend to the podcast, someone who I'm a huge fan of. Sayo, how's it going, man? Ah, uh, good, Tom. Good, good, good. I mean, yeah, like, we'll get to the sort of overall story and the narrative, but is it fair to say you've had somewhat of a comeback recently? It's been great to see. You've really been on the front foot writing-wise. Yeah, I would say, I, I, I would say somewhat of a comeback, yeah, because there was certainly a break in between, mm. um... I think with the with the emergence of of rap is full, it's kind of like it's it's more or less a comeback for everybody. It's just a new a new vibe, you know. This rap is full. How did it start with you and rapping in general? You know, kind of writing things down, coming up with ideas to perform. Like, where did the bug start? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I'd say back in the day when I was like eleven, twelve, thirteen, it was the sounds that was coming out of me big brother's room you know and that's that's where hip-hop really started for me just listening to what me big brothers were listening to and all then it just evolved it just evolved from there wanting to to make my own kind of my own verses and stuff you know so I, I i would say it started way back then like from from listening to music and who who were the big inspirations early on ah you would i would have to be snoop dog doggy style right. would have him to one of the big inspirations and then a bit of two pack as well Crazy. yeah all the west coast stuff battle rap was this something that came much later like it would have, yeah what was the first time you knew about it you found out about it Jeez, I, I, so long ago yeah um I remember, right, we were we were all doing our little thing in Dublin or Ireland and rapping away and all, and we obviously knew about Don't, Don't Flop was going on in the UK, and it was always, a, always a, a, like a possibility of maybe one or two rappers going over, and then, then we knew that the battling was going on in the UK, so it was just another avenue for us, or for me anyway, to get my raps out, you know, for just another, another way for me to rap, so... Battling was never a thing for me. It was just another avenue to get the raps out, and that's where it all started. Say for battling, it was it was it was, it was never a real. Oh, I want to show everybody I'm the best rapper, or I want to I want to take down another rapper, or anything like that. It was just another avenue to get the raps out, mm. and another 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 way to kind of you know to get people listening to you in a way, you know. And the tryout um, against Boney on uh, Don't Flop Island, which is stamped on the bottom of the video in the green and white, you know. And this was February yeah. February 2010. You're an ocean colour scene, you're a Mosley soul. Sent out to this direction. Ah, uh, yeah. You look like a geek tweak sniffing ease. Down here trying to spread your mad cow disease. You're only a pony, bony the milky. You're only a dope, you're the GMC groupie. <laughs> a lot of people don't realise how far back you go, man. No, no, that is going back a while. Yeah, yeah, Crazy. I remember that. One of the best weekends of my life. Um, yeah, yeah, I think I just reached out to Or. What's the story? I really, I see what you guys are doing. I really want to battle. Uh, let's set it up. And then basically we set it up and I, I, I shot over and done the battle. And for me, you know, watching Don't Flop and all, that felt to me like it was like Soyo took over Don't Flop for half an hour for that upload and all. It was was the most amazing experience of my life 2010 is it yeah yeah 2010 well, early that's... early early 2010 before mark grist you know the, the yeah, you know yeah. before luna uh you know <laughs> there, there, there you guys were cork versus dublin this was introduced as your yeah. my space is showed at the start as well which is a nice sign of the times uh, stop stop yeah that's so old school old school cork <laughs> versus dublin yeah that was another event wasn't it is that right I believe so. I believe we, we 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 did. We certainly did have an event down in Cork. We had O'Shea over. We had Innuendo over. Mm. There was a few uh, few Scouse MCs over that weekend. All right, um, and that was an event down in Cork. Uh, ah, that was a good way to go as well. Yeah. And you picked to go first. I don't know if you remember that. Well, I was I was probably just in in the mode, you know, and I just wanted to get me bars out. Didn't want that and else to go. I just wanted i was focused i've never been so focused in my life to get them just to get them bars out and get them out right you know mm -hmm. i mean they do come out but there's not too much reaction in the first um right you know it, it still seemed to be getting your legs i suppose yes 100 percent, 100 percent. because i know in ireland you know say if i battle in ireland there's 
there was somewhat like of an expectation of me. But when I was battling Boski and Leeds, there was zero expectation of me because right. nobody knew me, nobody knew nothing. So it felt like it was a real kind of, there was no pressure. It was just me, on me to do, do what I do. Nobody expected anything, you know. So I think that ah, that weekend was just the business. Also. We we get a common angle used against you for the first time on camera in the first, uh, the hairdresser angle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the story there? <laughs> That's the story there. Uh, well, when I left school, I didn't know what I wanted to do, and there was a bit of a uh, there was work going on in the hairdresser, so I, I I took that job and I worked there for about four year. Mm. Uh, I was a, an apprentice hairdresser essentially. Yeah, I mean, I just yeah. point it out because it's one of those things like in battling, like one thing you do becomes your life. And yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. All the lads like they like to take the piss out of it now, but shall look is what it is. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, uh, Bodhi gets some good reaction, I think, throughout the battle. And he yeah. he wins convincingly, I'd say. Right. Wait, which one is this now? This is the first, your first battle. Your um, Oh, yeah. the very first the, one. Uh, yeah, yeah. The very, Boney in the Temple Bar Music yeah. Centre. That was my very first battle. It was such, it was so weird, you know, because it was the first time I was doing a battle, um, a cappella, like, and, and rapping about someone and having to punch about somebody you know and it was it was really different to me it wasn't something that i was used to so it was certainly me finding me feet in the first second to third even the fourth battle i'd say i'd say i'm still finding me feet in a way you know yeah yeah you always are to a certain extent aren't you yeah yeah in a way in a way definitely and looking at boney's verse tracker he's battled a lot i've got to say plead ignorant i wasn't aware of the guy shout out to the guy he's battled a lot of big people been yeah, on don't vlog a few times about the e-villa innuendo bowski yeah. you know reds uh, on lots of lots on defining irish so yeah shout out to him big style i'd say between that 2010 2014 2015 there was quite a bit done the likes of reds are terror collie like the guys who are looking after dfi we they really they really gave it a shot, you know. We really got big events that were going on over here, merging with Don Flop and all, um, and that would have given the likes of Nash Boney the opportunity to battle against these guys. So yeah, I'd say there's a lot of Irish rappers from that period that have some really good battles under the belt that I probably forgotten about that a lot of people wouldn't know about, you know. How did how did you take the loss? Did you want to come back stronger? Did it ignite a fire? Or? I would say so. Yeah, I would say so. Obviously, nobody wants to stand there and 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 lose. You know, you're right. you're there for a reason. You know, at the end of it all, you certainly don't want to lose. Or if you do lose, you want to you want to give a good account to yourself. You know, so it was never for me winning or, or beating the guy uh, it was given a good account to myself and if i can give a good account to myself and, and the other guy beats me well look who cares who cares but there's some amount of classic battles where somebody clearly loses but they have still given a really really good account to themselves and and you can't fault that you know so i was always battling myself tom you know what i mean it's always battling myself and making sure that i'm getting out what i have prepped for this battle and that's what I always felt to be in, yeah. The next battle I want to focus on is Costello. Um, this took place at the end of 2010 on DFI. Yeah. Uh, which yeah. is, it's an unfortunate coincidence that I realised doing notes for this, uh, this episode that the acronyms of Defighting Irish and Don't Flop <laughs> Ireland are it's both funny, DFI. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was, was, that, was that intentional? I mean, yeah, but what? Talk us through defighting Irish briefly. Like, how did it get started? What was its, you know, motives? Yeah, the fuck. Well, what were the motives? The motives was just straight up to give us Irish rappers another avenue yeah. to get the music out and um, get more people looking at our scene. Um, and if that was true, battling to kind of get a load of battle fans in, well, so be it, you know. So. We obviously seen how popular the battles were doing over in the UK, you know, like don't flop with or and all, like the thing was, was on wheels. It was really, really good, really popular. So I, I, I don't know who the first was to I'm sure it was Reds I maybe reached out and, mm-hmm. and, and wanted to go over and battle or or something like that. And then just from there, between or and Reds are speaking, they they just kind of snowballed and turned it it was Don't Flop Ireland for and maybe the first one was Don't Flop Ireland, and then the second one was Don't Flop Ireland, and then for whatever reason they kind of merged out on their own. I think they they 
start doing their own uploads or they just took control of their own channel right and pulled it from dfi don't flop ireland to the fighting irish and that was it yeah i think I'd probably probably just to, to have control over the uploads and so they can upload them when they wanted or whatever it was you know sure sure and hosted by reds uh filmed by jeebus was, was he a prominent cameraman jeebus is the don yeah okay. jeebus done, done a lot of kind of camera work video work he, he he shot one or two of my videos back in the day he would have done mixtape videos for the the, the fight in irish i think we had two mixtapes out yeah it's the, there's an advert at the start of the video showing you guys mixtape and it's awesome that all the battles of the league feature on the release for real for real so it's a real community thing over here you know what i mean we are all pushing in the same direction whilst there certainly might be barneys and people at each other's throats sure. at the end of the day we are all pushing in the same direction and when it comes to doing everybody on the league doing a mixtape and, and working together by throwing verses in at a timeline etc everybody does work hard to get things like that done so yeah we've two dfi mixtapes um, and a pretty, pretty fly, yeah. You skinny motherfucker! <laughs> Forever dodging shows. You look like a Polish Jew, fresh out in 1944. <laughs> and you come from a kip. Apart from a shopping centre, Blanchettstown's a dump, like a war-torn Warsaw. Hey, yo, the place is backwards. I swear it's something. Costello usually dresses like he's Fergus and we're awarded of the buttons. <laughs> Apparently in association with Dublin Community Television. I don't know what you know about that, but that was shown in the credits. That's right. Well, for a while, for the stage, we had, oh, let me think now. It'd be like a channel on Sky, you know, like on your Sky. Mm -hmm. We have a thing like UPC, I think it was at the time, and there was a channel on that, like it was like it would show kind of Irish stuff. Right. You know, it was like, let, let's call it a low budget station where they would show kind of low yeah. budget shit. Mm -hmm. And um, the battles were one of them, yeah. The bat so the battles used to be on this station every night. No, every, once a night for a couple of weeks, I think. It was on telly, basically, though. Right. Wow. That's cool. <laughs> Yeah, man, it was cool. It was cool. It, the lads had the lads pulled some mad stuff out of the bag over the course of them couple of years, you know. And how would you describe the atmosphere at the Fighting Irish as compared to other events? Yeah, yeah. Well, you'd always wonder, you know, from watching the the, the UK events. The UK events were always like the, the the bigger battles and whatnot. They'd be always popping like the events mm -hmm. and reaction to bars, etc. So you would wonder how battles are going to go down in Dublin or Ireland but like there's Irish people they love to have a few drinks and, and give each other a bit of stick you know and in that kind of setting and just giving each other abuse and, and laughing at each other and having fun that, that's basically what it is you, you'd have slagging matches with your friends all the time you know all the way through growing up and that's I think it's just an evolution of a slagging match yeah. stick two people in the middle anybody will listen to it you know <laughs> Yeah, it even really better cool. when it rhymes, but you're you're totally right, yeah. It is just yeah. compelling. And the atmosphere's rowdy in a good way, and I really like uh, you know, this battle especially with you. And Costello, I guess the main method of attack is that he's Polish for yourself. Yeah, well that, that, he's not even Polish though, <laughs> you know. <laughs> um I I when I look back at battles like that back in the like from from back in that kind of time. I know that the you know the writing is not next level. It's kind of it's really, um, yeah. My 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 main attack probably was that he was Polish. Yeah. I I just like to be funny, you know. I like to have fun. I like to have a bit of crack. I certainly don't want to uh, move mountains with, yeah. with crazy lyricism and wordplay. I just, right. Keep it basic. Keep it funny. Keep it for the layman, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> and you know, so, yeah. you know, Costello, you know, he goes on the hairdresser stuff. Obviously, uh, he does an impression of you, um, which is yeah. quite successful, and the crowd sort of <laughs> eat that up. And he has he has a line, and he gets a huge reaction. And I don't know if it, it's not aged very well. He's like hip hop scholarship, and you ain't got no certificate. And like people go like crazy for it. And yeah. I'm, like, I'm like, what? But fair enough, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, no, um, but the battle went down really well anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was a, there was a bit of there was a bit of a, a, a tension or whatever, you know. Um, but now it was it was a really good battle, and it's it's one of the ones that I I do like watching back, you know. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Yeah, and uh, so we get to the judging decision in this battle, and Dave Dredd is judging, and it's quite funny. He doesn't give his own opinion. He just Boney gave his opinion beforehand, and, and Dave Dredd says exactly what he just said, uh, which yeah. is very useful. <laughs> That's allowed because I, I I I don't like judge battles in, in in a sense, you know, because certainly if I'm watching a battle, I don't want to stand there and 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 listen real intently to find out who. I just want to stand there and have a laugh, you know. Yeah, and. In judge battles, if if you're not told, right, you're judging this, uh, listen intently, etc., you're probably you're missing a lot and you're, you know, you're laughing at one bar, you're missing the next bar. And so judges can't be held fully accountable for their decisions at the end of a battle because they probably missed a bit of it anyway, you know. So I think when you battle, I think it's there for everybody to see. I, I, I think a judging decision isn't really needed unless you know, it's a tournament or whatever, unless the judging decision is needed. Hmm. I find, I find uh, it's better when it's just kind of promo and, and left for the people to decide, you know? Like you and Real Deal, which we'll get to, which, yeah. Um, <laughs> outstanding fucking battle, by the way. Can't wait to talk about that oh, one. Such, cheers, such a good man. battle. Such a good battle. And, you know, this get OT gets called in this battle, I should say, and then... Yes. You know, uh, he, he takes it. You little stumble here and there. You talk about yeah. like Blanche Library was the first one to stock mine camp in Ireland. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, it's a really a obscure reference. Book. I was like, what's that about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was it? Bal, Bal, oh, Bally Fam at Library or Blanche's Town Library or oh, something. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ah, no, it was just some, some, some made up bullshit. <laughs> well, uh, Costello takes it. And, you know, yeah. it, you were losing quite a lot early on. That's right. That's right. Yeah. I was. And I tell you, I was losing a lot early on. It was because, you know, I turn up to events and I'd, I wouldn't be fully prepped. And then I'd have a few drinks on the day as well. And that just makes the preparate, the lack of preparation even worse, you know. And then the reason that I, I would have lost a lot at the start would be because, again, I'm just battling myself and... I was losing a lot to myself at the start, you know. Finding yeah. my feet, I would say, finding my feet in, it, in in exactly what this is, rapping in front of fifty people and everybody hanging on your word, and you have to make them laugh with the next bar, etc. Mm -hmm. So it certainly took me a while to find my feet, but I didn't give up. I kept going, you know. Yeah, yeah, de definitely, man. And, you know, you regularly battled, really, um, from 2010 onwards. Uh, you battled Nash, who I actually saw battle Briggsy at my first ever event I went to. And uh, he was your first event. Yeah, the first event. And uh, yeah. Nash was, um, you know, a bit of a compelling bruiser, I would say. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's a super fly, yeah, man. <laughs> uh, how, how was that battle? It's got quite a lot of views. Yeah, that was good. Again, it's not one I'd like to watch back because I feel I, I, I let myself down again in that one. Um, it's such a shame. It's such a shame. There's so many kind of battles that are up there that could have been so much better had I just put my full prep and everything into them, you know. Um, an honour to battle Nash. I really like, uh, really like Nash and Boney and uh, all the boys down in Cork there. They're so different to, to kind of the Dublin hip hop and all. They are certainly different, like you know. But um, yeah, it was it was kill cool. it was kill cool battling Nash. Uh, has, uh, has, I, has Nash retired? I would never say retire. Yeah. Um, he hasn't battled in the last good while, and I don't think he's kind of in contact with anybody in terms of getting him back on. Sure. There's nothing in, but Jesus, you know, you'll never say never, oh, especially yeah. when. You look at you look at, at, at how rap is full is is kind of snowballing and and mm -hmm. it's growing so big. You never know who will come out of the woodwork. Yeah, to yeah. Oh to man, one. Nash versus Terminal. No? Yeah. Oh man, imagine Nash versus Terminal. Yeah, let's go. Um, it's so good because obviously you had a big pool of rappers back then with with with, with or um or with Reds or and don't don't flop mm -hmm. Ireland and now you have another big pool of rappers that weren't knocking around then. I'd say there was who was it Nugget Gwame was knocking around back then. Graham, Graham came to Leeds with me when I battled Boski and he battled Pamphlet at the Yes, Africa. he did. He did, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a few rappers who have stayed the course, who have, have kind of stayed since Don't Flop Ireland to rap is full. 
but the majority are brand new rappers, like, you know, brand new battlers. It's amazing how many there is knocking around when you would think that there isn't, you know? And let's talk about that uh, to the test 10 battle, the Bowski battle. You ain't no real MC. We'd soon as see all vote BMP. <laughs> see bleeding hate by him settled with a husband. I see endless not be so fucking biased while he's judging. <laughs> We'd quicker find out pamphlet, rocks a hairy gee. We'd soon as see Luna C spit some actual free. Woo. See census swing a smack and f- smoke a four leaf clover. And Mickey Waters won't dick ride every American battler that's over. <laughs> Which I think is a really good early performance from you here. This was a huge event, wasn't it? We recently covered it on the channel with Sean. Uh, take a check out the episode. Yeah. We spoke about this battle as well. But it's seen as one of the Don't Flop events. Yeah, yeah. Well, when, whenever people are talking in the forums and they like to think back to uh, the best events that Don't Flop done, that one is usually, is usually uh, mentioned. Oh, for me... It was it was it was off the charts. It was because yeah. obviously I'm I'm coming from Dublin, where I think we may have had a couple of events, and they were real low key. You know, maybe about forty people, or they were they were they were small time, say. And then when you go to Leeds and you just check out what is going on mm. in terms of a weekend event, two day event, loads about four hundred people in the venue, um, and everyone's so respectful and all. You know, I was I was worried. I had a few choice bars in there about. Um, about the queen or whatever, whatever, you know. And I was wondering to myself, I wonder how this will go down. And they just went down like lightning and everybody loved them and, and it was amazing. Oh, I, I couldn't get over how good that weekend went in terms of the people, all just so nice. The battles were just next level. You know, you had people coming in from all over the world. I remember I remember standing outside watching Fredo practice his bars right. in a little alcove. And it was just surreal. Like, yeah. I was going, what the fuck? <laughs> Fredo is over there practicing his bars in an alcove. Okay. Um, yeah, it was crazy. Such an eye-opener. And it really made me realize what can be done with this battle rap. You know, if you just put a bit of work in and you put your effort in and, and um, you know, build up a good kind of, a good amount of battles what's possible you could be flying all over the world doing battles you know it, it was a real eye, eye, eye opener to me that event mm. Mm. and uh, i mean shout out to bowski right bounce dog oh a big styley every day every day i i think i i gave bowski the show and i gave or the show i'm saying yo bowski um want to come over would love to battle you and then or want to come over would love to battle bowski and from there we set it up he was he was all for it and I was all for it, and yeah, uh, he 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 aided he aided in giving me a mad bug for mm. battle rap, you know, mm-hmm. really did. Mm. And you know, you um, you deliver very cleanly, very precisely, and I think the crowd are just very engaged with what you're saying. And and Bowski's still yeah. good here. It's a lot of you look like Jedwood's mentioned, you know, <laughs> crackhead swing you round by his ponytail. And Bowski does a lot of <laughs> a lot of impressions as well, um, which yeah, is you know yeah. kind of kind of kind of standard fare. But yeah, there's a lot of fat stuff from you as well. You know, UFC or KFC. Um, yeah, you know, you're getting lots of laughs in the first. Love it. Ah, so enjoyable. So enjoyable. Yeah. I couldn't have asked for it to go better. Yeah, really. Yeah. To be honest, like I could, I wouldn't have changed the thing. And as well, when Or released the video, he put like a minute and a half of one of my tracks at the start. Yeah. And it's just unbelievable. When I watch that, it's kind of like Soyo took over Don't Flop for 40 minutes or whatever, how long that video is. Yeah, yeah, definitely, man. And, Amazing. you know, even though you call the queen a Nazi whore, and you go in on England in the second. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, Bowski comes with a few sort of, you know, obvious things. He talks about the sort of potato famine, etc. And, uh, you know, you say to him in the flip in the phone, what the fuck do you know about famine? Yeah, yeah. Fire, fire, man. I mean... Oh, uh, my God. Go on, Tom, sorry. How, how does the flips, you know, work for you? Like, is it just something you think of there and then? Are you storing it or...? Yeah, gen- generally, I, I I don't know. If you watch kind of a lot of me battles, I don't think there are a lot of flipping in there. No. If, you know, um, it comes and it doesn't. If, if if something is glaring, it gets flipped. If it's not, it doesn't, you know. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I'm not a big flipper in that term. <laughs> in a, but that flip it worked so well, you know, it went down well. Yeah. 
And you, you know, you still keep the sort of Irish references, which are nice. Make this place rock like a club in Omar. Was it like a pub in Omar? Pub yeah. in Omar, yeah. Yeah, obviously yeah. we thought there was the bombing up there and all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Frisco didn't just body you, but climbed inside you. <laughs> Frisco, shout out Frisco. Oh Remember man, yeah. Watching him back in the day, Eddie P and Frisco, wasn't it? Oh my God, what a team! They were serious. They were serious. I remember chatting to Eddie P. You wouldn't believe how many of you guys are Irish. Um, I was chatting to Eddie P's Irish, Blizzard's Irish, everybody's Irish, man, I swear to God. Uh, Spoke to loads of people, yeah. Uh, Shout out Frisco, yeah. Uh, And you won the battle, which I guess is kind of an upset, considering Bowski's stature. Yeah, you would say that, you would say that. I obviously, like, it was 5-0. Yeah, I got the five the five votes. Like so, I won five nil on penos essentially against the uh, English in their own back garden. <laughs> so uh, yeah, yeah, no, I'm delighted, delighted with me. Yeah, you know, I bet. Um, but I always found, I always found that if I can get the material that I've wrote out, I'm 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 doing well, you know. And if I don't, it's my own fault. And for whatever reason, if I don't win a battle or whatever. It's always down to me. It's it's not down to a George or it's I, I find it's always down to me and not getting everything I wanted to say out, you know. Um Yeah, so again the decision the decision is really minor to me. It's it's about getting them three rounds out and, and, and making a good account of yourself. Uh because you're not standing up there, you know, just to prick around and the people who have come in to watch you, they're not standing there to prick around either, you know. And it benefits everybody. It benefits everybody. If you give a good, good ass showing of yourself, it benefits everybody. So I, I couldn't ask for more out of that weekend, that Bowski weekend, yeah. Mm. And it, it, was and near, I, it, was, it was it was near enough two years before you were back on Don't Flop. Was there a reason for that or was it just, you know, difficult to get to? Yeah, kind of, kind of, you know, life gets in the way and things like that. Um, whilst I would have loved to do a lot more battles, um, it, it just didn't happen. It just didn't happen, yeah. I think after Bowski, I know I was back over. I battled Eek in a Wolverhampton event. Yes, you battled Sprungy before, I think. Sprungy came to Dublin, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen that one. I need to watch that one. Oh, stop, 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 yeah. Um, did Mickey Wartless battle Nash, I think? Okay, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, there, was, there, was, there was a few, I'm sure, innuendo battled someone that day as well. Um, the lads, the lads are so safe, you know. Anybody who's come over here from the UK for battles have been just so safe. It's it's the whilst whilst uh, two different countries or whatever, but it's still the same community, you know, and it's still the same mindset, the same people, and we all know what we're in this for. And it's uh, it's any time the guys from the UK come over, it's always cool, you know, and same vice versa. Mm. Such a such a such a cool community, this battle rap community, you know. It is actually, yeah. I think we all just enjoy what we're doing, you know, and everyone oh, just wants the best for the battles. Yeah, it's it I think everybody does what's best for the battles and what's best for going forward kind of thing, you know. You so you battled Eek then, which I do want to touch upon. So don't rush sneaky Russians that be pushing the fleet. You get a load of Zangief if we meet in the street. This is the hunt for Red October. No comeback. This is this is the hunt for Red October. Your comeback is over. I'll see you hammer and sickle and raise a four-leaf clover. Whether they sleep, drunk or sober, I'll fucking do what I do and I'll teach you how to rap because I'm better than you. Yeah, right? It's a little bit of a surprising, you know, it, it, you know, you battled Eek on Barmageddon in Wolverhampton. Like, how did it come about? <laughs> yeah, um, I got a shout off Ski, Gavin, Gavin Skinny, the guy who was setting that event mm. up. It was shortly after we done a documentary all of us, there was about five or six Irish rappers. Right. We had, uh, we done a documentary about Irish hip hop, about what kind of, what, what we're doing, you know, and that was aired on kind of prime time on our television, nine o'clock on a Monday night or something. Right. And then BBC three picked it up and it was shown on BBC three. This Irish hip hop documentary was shown on BBC three for, mm. I don't know, a kind of a couple of nights on the bounce for about two weeks. And off the back of that, your man gave me a ring, or gave me. He reached out to me on Facebook, and I'd say he would have he would have seen that we were doing battling as well. Right. But he seen the, the the documentary, and he was going, "We got to get you over here to Battle League," and that was it. 
obviously I knew Week was knocking around on the down flop uh, platform himself. So I was like, yeah, I want some of that. So yeah, I went over and, and the shit was super fun. Eek was great. Uh, I, 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 I rated Eek. I thought Eek was cool, yeah. Eek, Eek was really impressive in this battle and you know he wins the battle, but yeah. a lot of people saying it's a robbery. Oh, I wouldn't know. I, 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 I felt, you know, as Eek is going through his bars, it's going, whoa, 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 right, this is a step up, definitely. Like, yeah, yeah. I felt as he was going through his rounds, Oh shit, shit! Yeah, this is this is kind of good, really good. Yeah, yeah. Now I wouldn't I wouldn't call anything a robbery. I've, I, I, he, he, he smashed it. I, I, I felt I done okay as well, you know. But he did smash it, um, and yeah, killed it. He yeah, killed it was it, sophisticated you know? stuff that he had actually. Um, yeah, you know, he goes in a lot. Sayo has a Spyro obsession. The way he's chasing the dragon. Uh, <laughs> he said uh, you wanted to battle Enigma. Is that true? He, he said I wanted to yeah. or I should. You wanted right. to? No. no. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I could have been I could have been uh, talking some shit in the forums around that time. Okay. God knows. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, you know, it, it, just a great, excellent clash between both of you. Eek spends yeah. a lot of time on your eyes in the second, your thin eyes. Yeah. Me, me, me poor eyes, yeah. Yeah, they get some amount of stick. <laughs> they do, they do. And just, you know, long multi-stacking from him as well. Your dad was a homo biker and, you know, and he's like, there's a meth head in the madness, which is kind of quite ambitious. <laughs> that was nice, nice, yeah. I bet uh, one that always sticks with me as well. You do, you do 90 meters, or you do 100 meters in a 90 meter gym or something. Yeah. <laughs> Essentially yeah. mean I'm running into the wall or something, but I... <laughs> I like that one. I remember. I remember liking that one. Mm, mm. Gay prick should stick to spitting Gaelic. You know, he gets <laughs> he gets he gets some stuff off uh, in, yeah. in, in in the attack, and um, you know, Eek wins. But this this again is a really good showing from both of you. I think. Brilliant, brilliant. Well, that's all it is. You know, it was a good showing, and um, yep. that's that's all that matters to me is that we can we I can watch that back on YouTube and be all right about it. You know, <gasps> you... I hate. Yes, yeah, sir. No, go on. I hate when, you know, you, you, you have a battle and the build up to the battle, say the month before the battle or the couple of weeks, it's a big deal and you put a lot into it. And then when you get on, on the stage or whatever and you just find that you're not in the right space or you might be a bit tipsy or you haven't actually put the right amount of work into it. And then you feel you've only given 75% in the actual battle. And so... That that is so annoying, you know, when you don't give it your all, when you know you can give more in a battle, and then when it comes to watching it back on YouTube, you're just like, oh, I should I, I should have done better here, there, here, there. Yeah. It's I'm so critical of it of watching it back, so it's hard to watch a battle back without being over critical of it, you know. And you battled Gu uh, Graham in this time as well. This is early sort of 2013 era, I guess late yeah. 2012. Um, how how was the battle? Ah, uh, Graham, Graham. I think I must have battled Graham about ten times <laughs> in one in one format or another. Whether it was to a beat or freestyle or just at, at different events and all, I always end up battling Graham. And I have huge respect for Graham. Graham has been on them forums since fucking since grind time. Graham yeah. has been yeah. He's been knocking around for years and years and years, long before I knew what that rap was. So that guy, he, he had, he's been do, listening to it and doing it for ages. Essentially, you know, he's he's an OG in the in the battle sense, really is, uh, and he can't be taken lightly. You know, um, his quietness or his he's quiet. You know, might fool you to think that well, he has he has some bars and. He would be able to to murder most in terms of uh, battle rap, you know. And we get to impact, which was your final don't flop battle. This is the yeah. don't flop Dublin, part of the raise the bar tour. There was this long behind the scenes video, if I remember correctly, that unfortunately now is missing because don't flop extra has gone down, which is. Yes. Um, quite sad but you know yeah. all in all this sound it sounded looked like you know crazy time it was really 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 good yeah yeah um still the building out there was loads of people um came into that event it was 
really, yeah, we, I remember it was Redza, or got onto Redza, they were doing the race straight away, get me involved, anything, get me, get me involved. Right. You're like, I had fucking echo, I'm high and disrespectful, I haven't figured out if you're the pot or you're the kettle, but on the really, really got some changing to do, because Tom Huddlestone's head is more famous than you. I, I've been doing this for doggy years since Snoop was sporting purple, since chaps went out with tap or free and bars inside a circle, since Chuck D made a kill to know just what your word is, he's been spitting muck since Kanye West unwrapped in churches. I didn't really know much of Impact before he came, um, but as soon as I, I knew I was battling him, I was certainly having a look. He's a really, really good... He's a, It's like I, I started rapping and I made the transition to battling just as a way to get me music out, kind of. Just another avenue to rap. These guys are battlers, you know? It seems like that their main discipline is kind of battling. So it's it's find that you not not find that hard, but you're up against people who these these guys do battling for for fun, you know, um, serious battlers. Oh yeah, uh, so good the, the 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 levels the levels that the lads brought. Oh my god, yeah, we're, we're so good, you know, and uh, in turn it just makes us come up another level or, or, or raise our game somewhat, you know. Yeah, he's a he's a technician impact. Sure. You know, he's, yeah, he's got yeah. such discipline, and um, you know, it, it, you you go first there, and sort of you know, going on the whole um, you know, muscular element, putting needles in his mm -hmm. ass. Looks like Tony D got his tits done. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, being that faggot pamphlet's mate is nothing you want part of. Yeah. Which is, uh, you know, I, I think that Impact was... and Pamphlet had a sort of partnership, so. Yeah, they were buddies, they were buddies. But, um, you know, because I know Pamphlet battled Gwaine, he battled he battled one or two Irish guys, you know. So if ever I was referencing a UK rapper, it would have to be someone who kind of has some sort of relationship with the Irish scene. Mm. Um, but no slight on Pamphlet, man. I actually, I, I'm a big fan of Pamphlet, oh, right yeah. to do it. Such a nice guy. Met him, I, I, I met him over in Leeds, and yeah, he's such a nice dude, nice dude, yeah. Uh, yeah. Potato, potatoes is the first thing that Impact says. Um, at every single day, you get a potato clock. Very nice, I like that one, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's very witty, it's like something out of Lewis Carroll or something. Like, I, really, uh, I really like it. Um, you get a potato clock. <laughs> And uh, Impact is one of the. Well, I had him on the show just recently, and I, you know, I said like he's one of the greatest roasters I've ever seen. Like he just sort of oh, will, sick, yeah. will rag on someone relentlessly. So for you, yes. he says uh, Andy Carroll if he got drunk and blazed a rock. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, Andy Carroll, I'm a big fan of his as well. Right, right. Um, you know, um, I just it's it's just funny the descriptive the descriptiveness is funny. You know? Yeah, yeah. The dad from Shameless, he calls you as well. Yes, Frank Gallagher. <laughs> I have uh, a tune. I have a tune. Um, and it was actually one of my bigger tunes. Uh, We've done a, a lovely video for it and all. It's called Drunk. And in the hook is, I'm a damager rapping Frank Gallagher or something like that, mm -hmm. you know, something to do with Frank Gallagher. Because uh, I am a bit, I'm a bit of a mess, you know, at, at events I can be, you know, you get a bit drunk, you oh, get yeah. a bit weird. weird, weird. Um, so, yeah, so look. The dad from Shameless, it is. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> in Impact's first, towards the end, the, the light falls forward in mid mid round. It sort of collapses. Yes, the light on the camera, on top of the camera, fell off the camera. So obviously we had to stop for a quick second, and you had to get the light on and all. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, it's just an odd little interruption, but it gets cleared up quite quite quickly. Yes, yeah. Um, you know, uh, and then. Me rapping in front of you is violating the Prime Directive. Impact has like Star Trek bars that someone points out in his second. Um, well, you know, which which is which is good. You can see there's some reception there. Um, yeah. <laughs> so mediocre name should be Big Sigh. Big Sigh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, stop, stop. I never heard that one before. That was never said to me by yeah. an Irish rapper before. So it was kind of like, ah, oh, that shit's funny. Yeah. 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 It was uh, it was really good, and then at the end of Impact's phone, he mentioned something that gets mentioned in a lot of battles: the fact that Willsey didn't bring a passport to get to Ireland. Apparently, so apparently, I think that was mentioned in every battle on the day. Yeah, 
that exactly. he was going. I, I, I don't know what the deal is. What do you need? You don't need a passport on the ferry or something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure of the yeah, uh, the yeah. regulations, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah. Regardless, he didn't. And this battle marked pretty much a three year gap um, between the next battle, the real deal battle. Um, so, yeah. what what was that about? Why was it was it just because the lack of Irish opportunity or? Yeah, it felt like after that that raised the bar tour. It felt like you know the guys weren't so much doing it anymore and. It, it just kind of petered out. It just kind of trailed off. There wasn't uh, so much put into the battling. So there was no more events, it seemed. There was no more... Yeah, it just felt like it petered off a little bit. Um, there was... I know Kim Marie was doing... Um, one of the girls over here, she was promoting events and, and putting on battles. and But it never really, really took off. So I certainly may have done a couple of battles. Maybe they weren't recorded or whatever. There was some battles done, but it really kind of took off then again with this rap is full with Rory and Podge. Uh, there was a little bit of a maybe three year hiatus. It was just, it was quiet. Maybe some people were, were, were in the cut sorting out their plans before they actually attack and, and take over. But yeah, it felt like there was a bit of a hiatus. All right. Yeah. And to go back straight against Real Deal, you know, the biggest name in your career, uh, yeah. how, how did this battle come about initially? It's such an outrageous idea. It's so brilliant. Shit was insane, it was. I was speaking to Rory, you know, and he was talking about doing a battle event where, where we're thinking of, you know, I have a few people on board. What do you think? I was going, yeah, man, I'd love, I'd love to get back into that buzz again. So put my name down. And he was going, yeah, so come here. What about uh, Real Deal? Do you know him? I was going, are you mad? Like, real deal? Uh, for real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's coming over and uh, we're, we're, we're setting it up. So, uh, I, I've been watching real deal for years and years and years, you know, such a high level. So, he, he's one of the best. He's, he has to be top five, I'd say. We can see him in class with that 9 5 Michelle Pfeiffer dangerous mind swag. <laughs> <laughs> with that 9 5. <laughs> I can see him in class with that 95 Michelle Pfeiffer dangerous mind swag. No wonder the opinion of America is stupid when a dickhead like you was trusted to improve it. Mm. <laughs> how, how, how do you write for real, do you? Like, well, what, what do you do? What do you say? You I mean, he's just got such a history, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. There's nothing you can do or there's nothing you can say that hasn't been said. And he, he'll just break whatever I say down anyway. But again... You just put yourself in the space where I'm not even battling real deal. I'm battling myself and I have to bring three really good verses, you know. And if I whack out three really good verses that I, I know will go down well, it, it's going to be a good battle, you know. And that's all I can hope for. I'm not going in there going, right, I need to beat real deal or anything like that. I just need to give a good account of myself again, you know. And, you know, it, it's no effect really on the battle, but unfortunately there's not many people here. Um, you know, there's lots of dedicated battlers that you'll recognise in the crowd. And the vibe's still great, but you just feel that in a room packed, these bars would have had, you know, even more impact. Because the writing is insane. Uh, I think That's both of you, man, thank you. you know. I felt, uh, because I know that the premier battle guys, they just dropped the trailer. And uh, O'Shea's battle is obviously in a, in a, in a venue full of there's about 100, full of 200 people there, and they're all rocking. Whereas then it goes to, to my trailer and it is against Real Deal in a quiet venue, you know. So <laughs> now I fully understand that. Um, that was our first event, Rap is Full's first event. Um, so that was probably like the first proper battle rap event in Ireland since the likes of Raise the Bar Tour. So yeah. to get everybody back out on the first event was hard. And as well, we've done it in Waterford and it wasn't in Dublin. So that may have affected numbers somewhat to get yeah. everybody down to Waterford, you know. Okay. But um, once the videos go up on YouTube, you know, and, and we can start kind of advertising this as a new league, an event, it's going to happen again. And then it kind of snowballs from there. Well, you want to see the last couple of events have yeah. been, yeah, they've been really, really good. Uh, we've had quite a few people in, you know. Yeah, I uh, I picked up the Chopping Fables pay per view recently, actually, and there's some some terrific battles on there. So yeah, and and the room and O'Shea versus Soros, Jesus Christ, what a good battle! Like you know, yes. absolutely, absolutely killing it over there. And I think th this battle is another good example of that. I love the big pun reference that closes your first. 
Um, uh, are you, are you a yeah. big fan of pun? I love a bit of big pun. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I wouldn't be diehard fan or anything, but he has some licks, no, all right. Course. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I think most battle rappers are fans of him. Really, his style fits in quite well. Yeah. Um, I, I, I'm <laughs> I'm not a player. I just teach a lot. You say. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, real deal starts off with a sort of Conor McGregor uh, idea here. Uh, don't understand why you don't respond to his letters. Uh, take yeah. this paddy cake. We get some nice Castlevania Trevor whip. But, but I think probably his highlight is the whole uh, picture of me getting ripped by some Irish bitch. I am not the Pope and you are not Sinead. Yes, yeah. Do you, do you remember that when Sinead yeah. kind of ripped? SNL, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. That is, that, that's worldwide. Everybody knows that. Oh, my God. Uh, so, they, yeah, the, he, he, he spit the bars like people from all over the world could sit down and watch his bars and go, ah, yeah, he's giving an Irish man stick, essentially, you know. Uh, he's just, he, he knows how to play for the crowd. He knows, he knows, he's just so good. He's such a pro at it, isn't he? Real deal. Really is. Really is polished, yeah. and you know he goes all around the world. Like I saw him at Code Red, and I know it's, um, you know Don't Flop uh, Edinburgh as well, um, yeah. where he battled Soul. So he's just you know tireless. So many good he's battles. Puts in, the, puts in the hours. He puts in the mileage. He's yeah. He's and you know nothing. So much respect from for coming over to our little scene, you know, and mm-hmm. giving us three rounds of real deal. Like that's that shit is priceless. Like you know, what yeah. I mean, yeah. Real deal to prepare three rounds for, for, for us, essentially, is off the charts, man. And nothing but respect for that. Um, and all the rappers that come through, like Thesaurus, etc. Nothing but respect for them. Sh- shining a, a bit of light on our little scene, you know? Definitely. Yeah, absolutely. So, so cool. Absolutely. And your second is killer as well. You continue the teacher angle. We do a sort of, um, you know, Michelle Pfeiffer, dangerous mind sort of swag. Yeah, yeah. Um, no wonder the opinion of American is uh, is stupid when a dickhead like you is entrusted to improve it. Yeah, Let's yeah. Go. Uh, you mentioned black and yellow as well, and it sort of doesn't really get a reaction, so you have to explain that it's like the Steelers jersey colours. Yes, yeah, yeah, because he's obviously Pittsburgh, you know? Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, no, I, I remember prepping for it and all, and, and I felt like it, the usual kind of, the usual funny, funny won't go down. You're going to have to step it up a level. It's going to have to be a little bit more technical, etc. you know? So I, I, I felt I put a bit into that battle, into them bars. I think they went down well. Yeah. No, sir, they I definitely got, went down well. I got daps off uh, Thesaurus. I've gone, all right, Thesaurus, what's the story, you know? And and he was going, no way, man, that, that disabled parking bar was unbelievable and all. And it was so surreal to have Thesaurus uh, say that he was digging one of my bars. It was, yeah. it was, it was amazing, you know? That, yeah, yeah, shout, shout out Thesaurus. I mean, and some of Real Deal's best material in time, I think. I think he's, he's terrific in this. Think he's official, pulling cards get you murdered in this game like a Brazilian soccer ref. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah. Just, just uh, wonderful, wonderful pigeon out in the street like Arya Stark. Uh, you know, Tommy under the sleeve, and it's like a who bar, like a you know <laughs> vinyl sleeve. Like, yeah, yes, fucking, yeah, fucking mad stuff, mad stuff. We don't get a decision. We are invited just to you know debate ourselves among the among the yes. comments as well. And you know, I think it's an incredibly equal battle and one you must look back on with pride. 100% for you to even say that it's equal or anything for me to even have any case against against the real deal you know um, I am very very proud of that and as you say that his stuff probably his best stuff in the last whatever you know that just goes to show that he put a bit of work into it and you know he he, he done his best for us as well and um, that is it's a very very proud moment in terms of you know, just looking back and going, no way, I did that. That was super fun. And, uh, yeah, just just with that, with the vibes of that event and that battle, everybody took them to the next event. Yeah. yeah. You know? And it's, it's... I've been unlucky, though. I've been a bit unlucky because I think the last three events I was supposed to battle, and if it has fallen through, I was supposed to battle GWE in Dublin. It oh. fell through. Then I was supposed to battle Mickey Wortless in Dublin, and it fell through. And then I was supposed to battle GWE on King of the Ronalds, hmm. just gone, and that fell through. So I actually haven't battled in a in a while, you know. 
Well, uh, it's a July seventh, which may be. You know, this episode might be out, but then probably won't be. Probably will be out before. Uh, right. In in Ireland, Ireland versus England for Premier Battles. So you versus O'Shea is your upcoming battle. Well, let's talk a little bit about this. I mean, facing Ooh. O'Shea for anyone is always just a momentous occasion. Yes. Yeah, it has to be. And it has to be treated like that Yeah, as well. It really is. O'Shea has to be the... He's the face of, of UK battle rap, essentially, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, he is. He has to be, yeah, he is. He's the poster boy for, for UK battle rap. And just even even to be standing in in, in, in the circle with him and sparring bars with him is, is unbelievable, you know. Uh, but I really like o- O'Shea would be very similar to myself in terms of he's all about having a good time, you know. He's, he's, he's not too focused on... on pulling up trees with the best lyricism or, or, or the most technical bars. He plays the crowd. He's a funny motherfucker. And, you know, he's he's just so good. He's so good. His, his comedic timing, you know, his timing and all this stuff, it's just, it's it's so on point. He does have crowds eating out of his hand, essentially. Yeah, yeah. You can't help but, uh, you know, love this guy. No doubt. Yes. And I think he can just win people over his personality. And, you know, Bowie Saw has recently showed that, you know, he's still pretty much at the top of his game when he wants to be, you know. and uh, Yeah, when he wants to be, he, he he can. He certainly can put on a show, you know. And he's, he's always been at the top of his game. Yeah. He's, 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 he's a man. How many battles would you say he has? Probably 350 or something. Uh, roughly that, yeah. <laughs> that's crazy the amount of of time and work that he has put into battling you know you want to be you want to be up early in the morning to beat O'Shea like uh, but now again I'm I'm, I'm going to put everything into it and I'm, I'm going to play for my Irish crowd and it, the shit is going to be so funny and it's going to be good and what do you think of the whole Premier Battles concept of the league and the teams I think it's it's so cool Uh it, uh, it's just kind of popped up out of nowhere and it gives a real like the the, the, the tribalism and the you know getting back in your team or back in your battler um, the, the the merch you know the scarves and the, and the, and the jerseys etc is it's just giving a whole new a new vibe to Atlan. Um maybe just completely freshened it up over there with the kind of with the hiatus or with the don't flop kind of petering down or, or, or cooling down or whatever it, there was certainly a void for something to pop up and yeah this premier battles the the whole kind of concept of it and all it, it's so engaged and it's, it's it's really really cool and who would be some upcoming opponents maybe dream opponents you'd like to face over the next year or so oh upcoming dream opponents <laughs> Oh yeah, I, I I like Bobby Rex. Oh, oh okay, that'd be good. Bobby Rex is 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 really really good. Yeah, um, who else have we got there? I I, I never kind of right. I want to battle him, and oh, I want to. I, I definitely want to be whatever makes sense at the time. You know what I mean? Um, I have no ill feelings towards anybody, so I, I don't I don't care who I battle. Anybody can get it the same. You know. <laughs> And, uh, you know, we'll close up with a few quick-fire questions, Sayo. So the yeah. first one being your favourite Don't Flop battle. My favourite Don't Flop battle, uh, Eddie P and Frisco, the mm. doubles against Leona C. And <laughs> it was the other partner there, Matter. Matter, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that what, what a classic battle. Really was, it really, really was. The two boys, um, Eddie P and Frisco, are just so funny, yeah. Yeah, hilarious. I love the room they're in with that battle as well. Uh, you know, to the test seven room there in Manchester, and yeah, just just delightful shit. What about King of the Dot? King of the Dot. Um, I don't know if I can say that I have sure. a particular favourite. You know, um, I've certainly I I'm a big fan of Real Deal, but I'd be a big fan of Swave Seven for some weird reason. I don't know. I always find myself kind of binging on his battles. Okay. Um, so rather than rather than a particular, I, I I certainly liked the Grizzlemania too. Was it that event? Oh yeah, there was a battle in there. Is it Sid Vicious? Big guy. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. 
I think he battled someone at that event, and I, I remember that being a really good battle. And uh, O'Shea and the Dorpak Dan as well is another another one that I would certainly watch back. You know. Yeah, and uh, any URL? Are you a URL fan at all, sir? I kind of watch URL just out of curiosity because I think the shit is mad, you know. Right. Uh, um, I I used to like um, P Money Bags was good. Oh, yeah. uh, yeah. I there's some there's some sick battles in the URL, yeah. Um, but I I wouldn't be as big a follower of 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 certain battlers on URL, you know. Hmm. And but yeah, yeah. Um, it's mad. You just watch it kind of out with curiosity. Go, these yeah. guys are off fucking charts, man. And so, uh, like, uh, finally, what about um, what about an Irish battle? Is there any like kind of obscure Irish battle you'd like to recommend to our listeners to check out? Hmm. We there's there's been a lot. There's been quite a few. Um, Ross All Jambo. Okay. Ross All Jambo. They they were two at the time. They were two of 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 our better MCs. You know. Um, so that is a it was a good battle Ross Owl and Jambo it was heated you know it had everything that a battle should have um, that was that was really good there was Reza against uh, Chronicle mm-hmm. that was done over in the UK somewhere Reza was so funny in that battle oh no there is there's certainly a few I'd say Ross Owl Jambo start there and uh, your final two questions, non-battle rap related. The first of which, ooh, what's ooh. your uh, what's your favorite film, sire? My favorite film, the one I go back to, is Glen Gary Glen Ross. Oh yeah, so good. Have you seen it? Oh yeah, of course, love it. Oh man, what an all-star cast and the whole lot. Uh, you still you watch it, you still learn more and more about the movie the more you watch it. Yeah, and um, really good. Always film, be yeah. selling. Always be selling. Yeah. Always be closing. Always be closing. <laughs> Always be closing. Sorry. Yeah. Always be closing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, and um, finally, your favorite musical artist or band that is in no way hip hop related. No way hip hop related. I'm yeah. big, big reggae fan. Okay. I've been huge into me reggae. You know, um, my favorite. I like. I love. You know, Jacob Miller, uh, the Gladiators. Ah, anything roots rock reggae. Anything over there, I love. Um. This new guy Khalid is out now. He's pretty fly, but that's R and B. That's essentially okay. hip. I suppose uh, so. I'm more angling for like rock, I suppose, or singer songwriter. Yeah. I suppose you know. After Twig and I got a, a really good uh, do up playlist. I've been spinning that for the last month or something. Okay. Fifties <laughs> okay. music and do up. All right, all right. Well, uh, I guess finally, how can people get at you? Your music, your socials, that sort of stuff. Yeah, man. I'm on YouTube. You find my page on YouTube. It's uh, Soyo99 or Simon Young. Or just hit me up on Facebook, Simon Young. I don't really, I know I did, but I don't, I, I don't really have a, an artist page or a band page or a, a link or anything. I'm on Facebook, Simon Young. Not that hard to find, you know. Uh, yeah, that's where you can get at me. All right. Well, this has been great as ever, man. Uh, I just want to say quickly, please follow the show at Battle Rap Resume. Get in touch with me via the email, battleresume at gmail.com. We've got the Patreon as there if you want to support iTunes. Please leave a review. But, uh, Sayo, this has been great, man. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure, Tom. Thank you very much for the show, yeah? I really look forward to hearing this back. <laughs>